So I always had this thing about really, really wanting to be valedictorian. I was successful one out of the three times that I tried. And actually, this is not one of those times. <laughs> Hi, Vanessa Raquel here. Please remember to like and subscribe if you're interested in this video and in this channel. So the three times I tried to be valedictorian were grade eight, grade 12, and final year university. In grade eight, I was actually successful. I had the chance to represent my class. There were actually three classes. There were three valedictorians, but it was still really exciting and such a special moment at that time of my life. In grade 12, the way valedictorian was selected at my school was you had to be essentially like class president, but we called it captain. And then the captain was automatically valedictorian. I ran that race and I did not win. <laughs> but then for final year university, I worked really, really hard to try to be valedictorian. I wrote my speech, rewrote my speech. I presented it in front of all these different audiences, had all this different feedback. I wanted it, it to the nth degree of my soul so badly. <laughs> I had my dean be my letter of recommendation. I had more than one professor recommend me. I did everything I could, but unfortunately there was somebody else who was just more qualified and she did a great job and I'm really glad she had that opportunity. As I've clearly mentioned on this channel, I've given a lot of talks and presentations, so it felt like something I was uniquely situated to do and I was pretty bummed out at the time. But sometimes life works in mysterious ways. A full year after my convocation, I had a really unique opportunity to come back to McMaster and deliver the alumni address. So it's not like I'm Michelle Obama getting this incredible speech or anything like that. I was actually given a speech to say for the first time in my entire life. It felt pretty cool, but also it was a bit of a bummer that I didn't have more flexibility. But there were a few areas in the speech where I was able to play with and basically say whatever I want. So I actually pulled up my valedictorian speech that I never got to say and I kind of cross-referenced it and slotted it into those spots. What was also really, really incredible about this experience is that I got to surprise my best friend in the world who was in the audience. She was graduating at the time, she did not know I was coming, she did not know I would be on stage, and she definitely did not know that I was going to be giving a speech. So that made the day super, super special, and I actually kind of gave her a shout out in the speech where I talk about my friend who's engaged. So the other really special thing about this convocation is who was in the audience and on stage with me at the time. I've mentioned in a previous video how I gave a talk at Perimeter Institute, and one of the unsung benefits about giving talks is you usually get some sort of little thing you gift. And Perimeter Institute had given me these super awesome cards that are these super cool women in science and engineering, um, and they're stylized in this really artsy way. And one of the cards I'd gotten was of this woman, who is Donna Strickland. So if you haven't heard, Donna Strickland is a Nobel Prize winner in physics, and I'm actually just going to read this out because it's really amazing. Donna Strickland, a self-described laser jock at the University of Waterloo, pioneered a method for creating extremely fast, intense bursts of laser light when she was a PhD student. That innovation sparked technological advances such as laser eye surgery and earned Strickland the 2018 Nobel Prize in Physics, making her one of only three women to have received the prize. So as you can see, she's a literal Nobel Prize winner. <laughs> and as you'll soon see in the video, she's literally directly behind me listening to me speak. Her talk was absolutely amazing. So as per usual, I'm only going to include my presentation in this video, but I'm going to link the full one down below and I'll timestamp it so that it'll go directly to Donna Strickland's speech, but I highly recommend it. Please go watch it. <laughs> so without further ado, please enjoy my alumni address. Congratulations, Mikhail. May I now call upon Vanessa Raponi, a graduate from the Bachelor of Engineering and Management class of 2018 and a representative of the McMaster Alumni Association. Vanessa will now deliver the Alumni Association address. Good afternoon, Chancellor Labarge, President Dean, award winners, honorees, faculty, fellow alumni, guests, and to the members of McMaster Class of 2019, I speak directly to you. Throughout your undergraduate career, your brains were as packed as your schedules, your hearts as full as your course loads, and your ambitions as limitless as the options surrounding you. Now, you must take the best parts of what you've learned and who you've become and bring it all with you into your new chapter. Crossing this stage marks one of the most significant changes of your life. This is a time where everything and everyone around you is changing. You're moving from your career as a student to a career as a professional, or instead pursuing further education, ambitious people. <laughs> or maybe you're following a path that's more freeform, some mix of entrepreneurship, travel, and mom, I'll figure it out as I go along. <laughs> the conversations you're having as gatherings have shifted from red suit, bus, and academic drama to navigating federal politics, taxes, and mortgages. 
You're thrilled that your angel of a best friend has gotten engaged to an amazing guy and you physically couldn't be happier for them. The graduation transition comes with a lot of new and unexplored territory. What won't change is your experience earning your degree that will always be part of you. You will always be part of this community. The connections you've made and the entire McMaster Engineering Network will always be waiting for you wherever you need it. The Alumni Association will help ensure you always have an opportunity to stay in the loop. You can read about your alma mater in MAC, a special magazine for alumni, or check out the monthly e-newsletter Maroon Mail. There's an alumni website where you can read blog posts, learn from the career newsletter insights, and join the MAC alumni communities on all social media platforms. But beyond the FYIs about what's happening in the Marauder community, you are also now a member of MAC 10, a program specially geared to the needs of graduates within the first 10 years of after graduation. Whether you are looking for assistance in getting your first job, or as you navigate steps further in your career, the Alumni Association has a number of resources, events, and programs to help, as well as a designated alumni career counselor. These resources are available for you to take advantage of whenever you need support along your journey. When adulting gets intimidating, the association can connect you with deals on home and auto insurance or health and dental coverage plans. And if you keep your address updated, you'll receive invitations and notices about events taking place near where you live. But with online networking events, mentoring, and web webinars, you can rest assured that you can always make a MAC connection from the comfort of your own home. If I was a connection that you made on one of these various platforms, I would give you the following advice. Embrace change because it is the only reliable constant. Life is going to be a never-ending whirlwind of new challenges that you've never faced before. And the most important skill you can have is tackling hardship head-on and getting yourself safely out the other side. Be authentic, think outside of the box, help others get to where you are, and keep your ethics and morals as engineers and computer scientists and as a person at the core of your actions. If you take away one thing from this alumni address, let it be that while the community you created here at Mac may no longer be around you every day, you will never truly lose each other. No matter the distance or the time difference, you will always have shared this special chapter and you will forevermore be alumni together. Members of the class of 2019, congratulations on your convocation and welcome to the McMaster Alumni Association. Thank you. So thank you so much for watching. I'm Vanessa Raquel and please like and subscribe. Have a great day. Bye everybody.